This is the Mi 20 FSH, or as we've been calling it, the Mi 20 fish. It may just look like a black box, but inside this thing is beast. Like the kind of beast that goes to 4.6 million ISO. What does that even mean? Basically, this thing can see in the dark. What your naked eye or iPhone can't see, this can. Canon says it's thanks to its huge pixels, two to three times the size of most other sensors. That means that each pixel sucks in more light, so it can see things with just 0 0.0005 lux. That's less light than a single firefly emits. So I put it up against the best low light camera currently on the market, the a7S II. Turns out, the a7S puts out less noise early on, but the Mi 20 fish holds up better in higher ISO levels. Also, the Mi 20 fish has some great tools that other cameras don't. There's an IR cut filter, allowing you to capture extra infrared detail in the dark. But, make sure you turn it off in the daytime. There are two built-in neutral density filters, so you can stop down the light to the right exposure. And there's also a two times and a four times teleconverter. There's also this crazy optional remote you can use to really fine tune your image on the fly. And while it shines at night, it also records beautiful images during the day. The camera itself is just a sensor in a box. There's no viewfinder, no battery plate, no XLR inputs, or even an internal recorder. That means you have to fork out additional money on top of the $20,000 already for just the body. And thanks to those huge pixels, Canon can only pack enough for 1080p on a full-frame sensor. Canon built this camera to do everything, but at its price, it's probably something you're more likely to rent to get that crazy drone shot in moonlight or to film a magical scene with underwater fireflies, or if your crazy director insists on shooting by candlelight only.